how to solve problems on combination of springs. Like resistors present in electrical circuits, springs can also combine in series and parallel to calculate effective stiffness and force. Let's understand these combinations in depth. Series combination of springs. When two springs of stiffness K1 and K2 are connected in series, then the equivalent stiffness of the combination is given by the relation. 1 by K equivalent equal to 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2. And the time period of oscillation of the spring combination is equal to 2 pi into square root of mass divided by K equivalent. In series combination, the tension is same in all the springs. If the stiffness K is same, then deformation in both the springs will also be same. Parallel combination of springs. When two springs are joined in parallel, the extension is same for both springs, but tension force acting on the springs will be different. Force acting on the system is equal to minus K1X plus K2X. The equivalent stiffness of the parallel combination is given by K equivalent equal to K1 plus K2. And the time period is equal to 2 pi into square root of mass divided by K equivalent. If two masses are connected to a spring, then the equivalent mass is given by the relation mu equal to M1 into M2 upon M1 plus M2 which is also known as reduced mass. In this case, the time period of the two mass system will be given by the relation T equal to 2 pi into square root of reduced mass upon spring constant. Note, in series combination, extension of springs will be reciprocal of its spring constant. Therefore, spring constant is inversely proportional to length. Hence, K1 L1 equal to K2, L2 equal to K3, L3. If a spring is cut in N equal pieces, then spring constant of one piece will be equal to N times K. Let's take an example to understand the application of this concept in problems. Question. A circular spring of natural length L naught is cut and welded with two beads of masses M1 and M2 such that the ratio of the lengths of the springs between the beads is 4 ratio 1. If the stiffness of the original spring is K, find the frequency of oscillation of the beads in a smooth horizontal rigid tube. Assume M1 equal to M and M2 equal to 3M. Solution We are given ratios of the length of springs is equal to 4 is to 1. Mass M1 is equal to M and mass M2 equal to 3M. When M1 is displaced relative to M2 by a distance x, each spring will be deformed by same amount. Hence, as learned earlier in this video, we can say that the springs are connected in parallel. Therefore, the equivalent spring constant is equal to K1 plus K2. Since two springs are in parallel, we can replace two springs by on spring which have equivalent spring constant and the two masses connected at each end. If the spring is cut, the force constant of spring is inversely proportional to length. This implies K1L1 equal to K2L2 equal to KL. Substituting L1 equal to L by 5 and L2 equal to 4L by 5, we have K1 equal to 5K and K2 equal to 5 by 4K. Then K equivalent equal to 25 by 4K. The reduced mass of the system is mu equal to M1 into M2 divided by M1 plus M2 where M1 equal to M and M2 equal to 3M. This gives reduced mass mu equal to 3 by 4M. Frequency of oscillation is equal to square root of spring constant divided by reduced mass. 
On substituting the value of spring constant and reduced mass, we get frequency of oscillation equal to 5 into root k by 3m. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.